Jonathan? Bobby, you here? Jonathan? Felicia? Now, Sunny? Hey, Mommy? Felicia? <laughs> You know, if you're having second thoughts, we can always climb out the window and go to Atlantic City. <laughs> of course you would think of that. But I wouldn't do that to Bradley. He'd get over it. Eventually. After some rather intensive therapy. You're late. And you're beautiful. Nice try, but you're still late to my wedding. I was on time to the first one. Don't judge me. <laughs> it's not my fault. Julian couldn't find his cufflinks. I think he's going through early Alzheimer's. I may have to commit him soon. Well, whatever the reason, I'm just glad that you're here. Oh, of course. <sighs> Why are you so nervous? It's not like you haven't done this before. I know, it's just that this is my second marriage. I can only imagine what the people out there must think about me. Me, I can tell you what the people out there are thinking. They're thinking, gee, I wish they'd hurry up and get this over with so we can go to the reception and the open bar. <laughs> Okay. What is taking so long? Case in point. <laughs> what were you two talking about? Me is having second thoughts. Sean. Well, you know, we can always just go to Atlantic City instead. What is the matter with the two of you? Look, I'm not going anywhere except to the altar to get married. Okay? Okay, so then what's the problem? There's no problem. Oh, okay, okay. And it has nothing to do with Bradley. I just think it's so soon after Michael. I mean, it's been five years. That's more than enough time. And I keep telling myself the same thing. Look, Bradley is a wonderful man. And I love him. I really do. But... I'm having the same feelings that I did with Michael when we got married. And you know how that ended. And it's just, what if the same thing happens with Bradley? Then like Michael, you can have him shot killed too. Problem solved. Shut up! Thank you. Humor, people, humor! It's not funny. <laughs> it's the millionth time. You I didn't, didn't have, have anything, anything to, to do, do with, with Michael's Michael. death. We're not going to Atlantic City, are we? Can we just go get you married? I love you guys. <sighs> okay, yes. Let's go be married again. Oh, yes. Um, and I just want to say for the record, can we speed this along? Because I cannot take Andre looking like a bizarro P. Diddy. <laughs> oh, oh, I wish Nicole could be here. Stupid DC fashion. Before you kiss your lovely bride, it's always wonderful when a member of the flock goes away and come back with a lucrative NFL contract and bless the congregation. But some don't. But it's up to you and God. You may now kiss your lovely bride. Mia! Mia! <laughs> Mia! Why?
Thanks, Paul. In other news, police have positively identified the victim of last night's brutal murder. The body of the victim, 30-year-old Renita Monroe, was found late last night in her home by her husband, Jonathan Monroe. Though police will not confirm or deny that Mrs. Monroe's murder was the work of the suspected serial killer that has terrorized the community of Anacostia in the past weeks, they state that they are not ruling it out. If it is confirmed to be fact, Renita Monroe would be the 10th confirmed victim of this attacker. The previous victim, 31-year-old Deanna Talbert Grayson's body, was found two weeks ago by joggers on a bike path in Anacostia with multiple stab wounds. So you still having nightmares? Yeah. The beginning's different. But it always ends the same. Hmm. You wanna talk about it? Do you? Come on, Mia. I told you I can't. You can't or you won't, Julian. You've been at my house for two weeks now without offering me any kind of explanation. You don't want to know, Mia. Try me. What do you want to know? Where have you been this whole time? I've been around. Around? All this time you've been alive? And how could you do that to Sean? I just, I don't understand this. God, please help me make sense out of all of this because I can't. Listen, man, you should, you should really just stay out of this. There's just so much that I have to figure out right now. You know, Sean needs you more than ever now. Don't you think I know that? Obviously you don't. Because if you did, then you would be right there by his side. He's been in a coma for two weeks. You don't have to remind me I found him, remember? So what, you calling the ambulance is supposed to make up for the fact that you put him through hell for over a year? Do you have any idea what your death, excuse me, your fake death did to him? Listen, I did what I had to do. What about Sean? I've done all of this for Sean. Do you think I wanted any of this? I know how he must have felt, because I felt ten times worse, but I did what needed to be done for everybody. No. I don't buy it. I'm sorry, I don't. Julian, Sean is my best friend. What am I supposed to do now? Listen, Mia, you just can't say anything to anyone. I mean... No one can know I'm still alive. The people that hurt me could still be out there and they could still be looking for you and Sean to hurt you. Was Michael one? Oh, come on, man. God, tell me! It appeared that way. God. Why would he do that? Man, Michael embezzled $400,000 from the business and placed it in dummy bank accounts. And initially, I thought it was for the new businesses, but when I looked further into it, I found out they were all fraudulent. So I put all the information on a disk that was password protected, and I was going to confront him with it. But I guess they found out before I did, and when I wouldn't give them the information, they tried to beat it out of me. And when that didn't work, they threatened to hurt Sean. What was Michael doing? Michael just stood there, and they pulled me to my feet, and one of them threw me against the rail, and I went over the railing into the water, and I just swam out of their sight. I had no, no cell phone, no way to contact anyone, and all I could think about was these guys sitting outside my house waiting, and I just couldn't put Sean in that kind of danger. So, uh, where's the disc now? I have no clue. I left it with my stuff at home. So I could be in the house? I don't know. But 
you and Sean are safe. Which Michael did. I mean, he he was the the loose end. So I I'm gonna leave tonight. Why did you come back that night? It's all I could think about was Sean. You know, I I saw how upset he was, so I stayed around, and then I tried to call his phone, but he didn't answer, so I got worried. You were the block caller. Yeah. Julian. Listen, take care of him, all right? I'm just going to leave tonight. Julian. I just gotta go. Sean. He's safe now. And that's all I ever really cared about. weeks ago. Hello. I run a business and frankly other things needed my attention more. Don't give me that bull, Dominique. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't have that business. I taught you everything you know. And yet, somehow, you're on that side of the bars and I'm not. Looks like you need to work on your curriculum. Don't forget why I'm on this side of the bars. What do you need, sir? What do I need? What I need is for my wife to act like she's married and come visit me more often. That's what I need. Oh, baby. She needs to be held. Don't play with me. I ain't no joke. Sit your ass down. Now, I've placed money on your books, dear. Is there anything else you need for me to do, dear? No. Nope. Well, see, that was easy. Yeah. All right, then. She likes surprises, right? I'm gonna make sure I don't ruin this one. I know you heard that bell. How can I not? You ring it a million times a day. Well, excuse me for being disabled and handicapped. It's not my fault some psycho hit me with their car. Nancy, the doctor said that you need to get up and move around a bit. I mean, if you did, maybe you could- Maybe I could what? Fall down a flight of stairs? Re-injure my back? Is that what you want, Scott? No, it isn't. But if you do what the doctors say, then you can get better and... And then you wouldn't feel obligated to stay with me. <laughs> That's what this little pep talk's about, isn't it, Scott? Nancy, hurry up and get better so you could leave me. Where are you going to go, Scott? Home? Selena made it quite clear that you couldn't go there. So where are you going to go? Huh? You know, why do you have to be so callous? I mean, you just lost your brother, and you almost lost your own life. Yet, you act like, like you don't feel anything. I remember what you feel like inside of me. You know, enjoy those memories, because that will never happen again. I love Selena. So why are you here, Scott? You could have left after you called for help when you found me on the road. 
when the car fled the scene after it hit me? Why do you feel so obligated to take care of me? Because no one else wanted the job. Or you have something to hide. Excuse me. Are you a realtor? Uh, 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 no, no, no. I mean, I wish I worked at Anacostia or River Realty, but nah. Right, right now, I'm just uh married. Sorry, I was just, just all up in my husband's face for no reason. Okay, a minute. No, you wait a minute. Desiree, Desiree, baby, <laughs> baby, look. You don't need to do all this. She was just asking a question. Okay, you ain't no celebrity and this ain't no talk show. So she can save her questions. As a matter of fact, there are more things in the house, Lamont. So why don't you go get them? <laughs> I'm going. Um, I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean any harm. I wasn't trying to come on to your husband. Okay, so what are you trying to say? My husband isn't attractive or something? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just... Okay, so you do find him attractive. No, I mean, he is, but I'm... Mm, you know what? Obviously, I made a huge mistake coming by here, so enjoy your day. My big sister told me about you and all of your little friends, Miss Thang. And who would your sister be exactly? Uh, Deanna Grayson, that too. Like I said, I'm sorry for your loss. Okay, yeah, you're apparently so grief-stricken that you couldn't attend her memorial services or send a card. Again, I'm sorry for your loss. Enjoy the neighborhood. Oh, I don't live here, Precious. I actually sold the place, but I am two blocks away, so I will be around more often. Oh, and do me a favor. Tell that bitch, Selena, don't let me run into her. Yeah, um, I'll do that. Uh, I bet you will. Our conversation is over. Why are you doing this to yourself? Don't ask questions you already know the answers to. Your friends love you and care about you, Selena. She's right. <laughs> they love and care about you so much that none of them has come to see you. She's lying. Your friends love you and so does Scott. Yeah, baby. Can't you tell how much I love you? Oh, please stop. Please stop. Mm. Don't do this to yourself. I need you to get up. I can't. Yes, you can. No, it hurts too much. Bitch, please. You hit me with your car. Don't talk to me about hurt. Please. Make her stop. Just make her stop. Selena, you're the only one that can make her stop. Get up. God has such a nice dick. I knew it would be nice, but I didn't know it would feel so good. You stop! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> you have to confront it. Yes. May I have the phone number, please, at the nearest Alcoholics Anonymous? Please, thank you.
know you're gonna regret this. You're making a huge mistake. Who would be calling at this time of night? Hello? Yes, this is Mia Stevenson. Oh my god! Mia, what's wrong? Yes, I, I understand. Thank you. Mia, what's going on? It's Sean. What about him? 